What's up guys, it's Insidious doing some Black Ops 2 gameplay on standoff. I'm playing uh, with two friends of mine, it's White Hype 911. And uh, that's his birthday, they don't have nothing to do with the Twin Towers or nothing. He was actually born on uh, September 11th. And uh, Powdery Gecko, uh, it's another one of my friends that I play with. And uh, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and jump into the topic of the commentary, which is uh, alcohol. And uh, my experiences with alcohol, I uh, I started drinking around 18, which if you live in the U.S., you're not supposed to drink until 21. But I had some older friends that hooked me up, and I actually really enjoyed drinking. So by the time that I turned 21, I was actually able to buy alcohol. I really overdid it. I I drank every day for. Uh, about eight years seven eight years and like when I say I drank every day there might be like 20 days where I didn't drink and most of the time it was due to the fact that I didn't have money to drink so I had a lot of alcohol and uh, yeah I just want to talk about that a little bit uh, some of the instances that I had uh, like one time I was drinking, I was playing NCAA football and I was playing on Xbox Live and I was drinking wine and uh, a real cheap wine too. It ain't like nothing you can sit around and sip. It's something that you chug and you get drunk and that's all you do. And uh, I had to use the bathroom and I remember I was in, uh, I lived with my parents at the time and uh, I was in the computer room, which is, you know, they had a computer in the bookshelf, and they had, I don't know if, if y'all know, like the, the big wooden boxes that they put at the edge of a bed, or at the end of a bed, and they put like blankets and stuff in it, UAV but it, it's really heavy, it's really hard, and uh, when I stood up, I lost my balance, and I uh, came back and hit the back of my head and shot blood all over the wall behind me and uh, my dad woke up because it was like two or three o'clock in the morning and I uh, came in there and I didn't actually know I knew I hit my head but I didn't know how bad it was and uh, he's like don't move because I was still like kind of I was sitting up on the floor and he's like don't move and I was like, why? And he wouldn't, he just took off. And what he did, he went to go get a towel, uh, a wet towel to put on my head. And I didn't actually know until I looked down. I felt something warm on my hand and I had a puddle of blood at my hand. And uh, it was from my head. And I had a lot of experiences like that. I did a lot of driving and stuff while I was drinking and about killed a family member and a friend a couple times probably but one time really that I can think of and uh, I, I just really overdid alcohol and a lot of it was from depression and when I got with my wife uh, I moved into her apartment when we first got together like not right off the bat but you know within like a few months of us knowing each other and she would constantly buy me alcohol, you know, because I'd be at work or be working too late to buy alcohol, so she'd go out and get it for me, so it'd be there when I got home. And, you know, she did that as a favor to me. She wasn't, you know, trying to encourage me. Actually, she was trying to talk me out of drinking so much, and I told her that would probably be something I'd do for the rest of my life. So, anyways, I, uh, I ended up one night. I went home from work, and I sat down at like 12.30 and had a shot of liquor before I started gaming and you know it wasn't nothing for me to have like a case of beer in the fridge and uh, two bottles of liquor and you know a bottle of wine hid somewhere so I sat down I had a shot of liquor and I just really didn't feel like drinking that much I was like no I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna drink tonight it'll be alright I'll drink twice as much tomorrow or whatever and I really didn't think that I was addicted to drinking but by s about five or six o'clock in the morning uh, I had went into DT's 
which if you don't know what DTs is, it's withdrawal, and which I find it hard to believe, even though I had a, you know, I had a shot of liquor, I, I had alcohol in my system, but apparently it wasn't enough, and I ended up uh, going into DTs, which is um, sick to your stomach. You have hot flashes, cold flashes, the shakes. Um, it's probably, um, it's probably the thing that started me having panic attacks which I don't really have them that much anymore because as you can tell from my voice that I am just calm as can be right now so I've really calmed down a lot but anyways um, my DTs were so bad that my wife was like why don't you just drink something and, and just get it over with because I mean she was absolutely terrified that, uh, that I was gonna die and uh, I told her that I was going to go through with it, I was going to quit drinking, and I said it in my head that I was going to do that, so that's what I ended up doing. I uh, quit drinking, cold turkey with no help, no going to rehab, after eight years of being an alcoholic, seven or eight years, I don't really remember, I forgot pretty much from the time I turned 21 until... Uh, about 28 or 29 a lot a lot of my life is pretty much a blur because of alcohol because the only thing I really remember is working and you know I drink before I went into work as soon as I got up I drink before I went to bed uh, I just drank a lot but the moral of the story is if you do drink do so in moderation because even though you don't think that you're addicted you never know when it when it's going to get you so uh yeah don't uh don't let it get you <laughs> thanks for watching the video later